Com. <laughs> improving your life by improving your health. Dr. Norwood of Valley Research is dedicated to knowing the latest treatments and medicine available to deliver to the Valley. Here to explain more, we have Dr. Paul Norwood of Valley Research. Hello there, doctor. Hi. Tell us about your practice. Well, I, uh, in my own personal practice, I take care of about 3,000 people, about half are diabetic. Wow. Yeah. I large. know you have one of the biggest research for diabetics in the, in the country, is that right? We have the largest diabetes research facility in the entire world. Wow. So how did you get into this? You just saw the need? Well, uh, a company came by and asked me to um, participate in the study, and then, you know, that was about 30 years ago, and so slowly but surely this has increased. Yeah. So I know when people think Dr. Norwood, they think research. Tell us about how your clinical trials work. I know we see the commercials. What, mm -hmm. do, you, what do you want people to know? Well, what you need to know is that we're really kind of uh, far down the line, okay? You know, for instance, uh, in research, first you try it in, of course, animals. Mm -hmm. and, and believe it or not, animals are very much like us. Yeah. And so if it's safe in animals, it's probably going to be safe in us. Then you go to healthy volunteers, then you go to phase two, and we do phase three. Mm. And the phase three is just before it's released to the public. Mm. Frequently, the medications also are improvements on a previous medication. For instance, a uh, medication will be a long-acting insulin instead of a short-acting insulin. Like, we're working now on an insulin that lasts a week. Really? Yeah, right. So it's a, a weak insulin. You get take one shot once a week instead of every day. We're four times a day. That's so great. And it's going to be a big improvement. I know you're at the cutting edge of all the medicine and research and technology that's available. So the weekly insulins, that's pretty cutting edge stuff. That is going to be amazing. So you're probably going to take maybe two or three shots once a week and the diabetes could be controlled if we're, if the person follows the diet. Right, <laughs> of course, right. People can always, yeah. people are people. Yes. And they have ways of doing things, and like we all aren't perfect. <laughs> no, we're not. But we know that diabetes is a huge issue here, so knowing that you're an expert in this is, is very helpful. Okay, let's move on to migraines and kids. I understand that you're highly specialized in this, and I never even thought about kids having migraines, but they do? Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, migraines are almost like a, a mini seizure that kind of rolls through the brain, causes dilation of the arteries. And uh, I think you probably know it is, can be terribly mm. painful. And uh, so the children just, they just get it when they're, they're younger. Yeah. It starts at many, you know, all, all ages. And we work with um, Dr. Kratzer. He's a pediatrician, so he's really in charge of that. And, and so what have you found with the kids? There, there are good treatments out there? Well, there are, yeah. We're just, what we need to do is have the medications that are in adults we just have to move it along and try it in children. Mm -hmm. you know. And do kids always know what's happening when they have a migraine? I mean, sometimes it's hard to verbalize. They do. They do. They can tell. They kind of go, well, gee, they, they have a kind of an aura. They oh. can tell it's coming on. Yeah. Then bang, you know, and then they might get nauseated. They have a little, can see little scotoma, these little stars oh. in their eyes, and then they have to go to go to bed and just kind of go to sleep. Oh no. A lot of times we have a lot of good therapy for that now. Oh good. Well of course if you're a parent and you're hearing this and your child is suffering, please reach out to Valley Research. And then speaking of kids, meningitis vaccine. I know we want to touch on that. Mm -hmm. This is huge. I mean people die from meningitis, right? I know. We're really having a hard time filling that study. It's really for babies from age 6 to 12 weeks. and. You know, when you talk to parents, they always have trepidation for vaccines. There's a lot of anti-vaccine mm -hmm, movement mm -hmm. out there, which is a mystery to me. Mm. One would think that we, you know, we don't have polio in this world, in our country, because of because vaccines. Because of a vaccine, yeah. You know, we don't have smallpox because of vaccines. Right. Uh, the uh, influenza is down significantly because of vaccines. And you'd think you'd want to give your baby meningitis vaccines so they could never have meningitis mm -hmm. in their life. But uh, I guess, you know, I guess you can understand people having trepidation to giving a vaccine for, in the, for a baby, you know. I guess. But in your opinion, it's obviously a good thing. In my best medical opinion, it's the best thing ever. To get a meningitis vaccine. Mm -hmm. And then moving on to adults, the high triglyceride with heart disease. What's going on there? Well, there's a lot of people with triglyceride levels. Triglycerides is, are, is literally fat floating around in the blood. Oh. And so... Um, there's a lot of uh, 
consideration that triglyceride is a contributor to the, uh, in, you know, the heart disease. Mm -hmm. And so we have a, a shot, believe it or not, we have a shot and that will lower the triglyceride. Interesting. And uh, we'd like to see if that uh, doesn't help uh, by lowering the triglyceride, if it doesn't help uh, right. improve this condition. Yeah, you've got so many cool treatments over there. And the last one I want to talk about is the atopic dermatitis. Mm -hmm. What's yeah, this that? is Dr. Lamovo. She's a dermatologist. She's she's ahead of that, and uh, well, you know what asthma is, mm -hmm. right? It's kind of an immune process where, because of allergies, you have constriction of the lungs. Well, this is kind of the same thing of the skin. It's kind of an allergy, and the skin's always itchy and red, and you're mm, putting cortisone painful. cream and all that stuff and all that, try to get the redness out. And so we have a, a, another cream that you kind of put on that to make it better. That's so neat. Well, if you have any of these symptoms or any of these conditions and anything else, head over mm. to Valley Research with mm. Dr. Norwood. You definitely are on the cutting edge, as I mentioned before, and we mm. are so glad you're here in the Valley. I should mention, if you're a type 1 or type 2 diabetic, we always have a study for you, too. Oh, very true, and I'm sure a lot of people do. 288-1960, that is the number to call. Thanks so much for your time, Dr. Norwood. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back.